Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing the Monster Air Mars XKT16 wireless gaming headphones. So, this isn't a sponsored video. I don't do sponsored videos. I purchased this uh, mainly because my son had a cheap pair of Lenovo earphones courtesy of Temu. They only cost a few pounds and they've gone missing. So, being the good dad that I think I am, I bought him a new pair of earphones. And I didn't see much point in going for expensive ones. He's young, they're only going to get broken or lost. So I thought I'll get something that looks nice and hopefully performs okay. So Monster is a brand, I think I've been around for a long time. I remember them being quite big in making HDMI cables back in the day. Um, and when I spotted them, this particular unit on AliExpress, I thought it looked quite compact. Uh, the earbuds looked very similar to the ones they had before, maybe slightly larger actually. but And the unit itself looked quite nice and colourful. So as you can see from the packaging here, it's actually pretty well, pretty well um, put together. I mean, this this might be legitimate, this might be genuine, I'm not sure. Anyway, here we are having a look at the, the, the packaging, opening it up just now, and the little earphones themselves. So what do you think of these? I think they look pretty snazzy. It looks a little bit like Starfield actually, it just needs a little bit of uh, ra rainbow on it somewhere and it'd be perfect for a little Starfield style, like loot box type earphone case. So what are the spec of these? Apparently they have TWS, which I had to look up, that stands for True Wireless Stereo. And um, they certainly have a decent amount of features. So what I've worked out so far, because looking at the manual is pretty difficult, it's tiny. I've looked online, I've done a bit of Googling, I've found a, a manual on manuals.plus. And what they tell me, the specs are, Bluetooth version is 5.3, transmission distance is 10 meters. Now I've not tested that, that's usually about the norm, isn't it? The driver diameter inside these things is 13 millimeters, which seems about normal. Frequency response range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Sensitivity 108 plus three decibels. Don't know what that means, to be honest. They're not very basic headphones. Now the battery capacity in the charging case is 280 milliamp hours, it's 3.7 volts. And the battery capacity in each in the headphones is 30 milliamp hours. And apparently that's good for about 20 hours worth of runtime. Uh, the charging time when you put it back in the case is about one and a half hours. And it says the playtime, the individual playtime for the earphones is four hours. So you'll get 20 in total with charging up in between. Um, some sources say about 16, but they were advertised as 20. So what you get in the box is you get the headphones, you get the tiny instruction manual, the smart looking charging case, a really thin USB-C charging cable. And uh, the headphones themselves are multifunction, so they have a little LED on them. And you can use one earphone and put it back in the case and use the other to extend your battery life or your battery time. Pretty handy if you're listening just to podcasts or audio. My son does that quite a lot, but he's not actually listening to music and things, so he uses one earphone. Seems to be the way of the children these days, back to like mono sound. And both of them have a multifunction button on them, which is on the stock, the stem at the bottom. It's a little flat edge, which I'll try and show you in a bit of footage here. Now these are the champagne coloured ones which is why you notice they're not quite white. The top's white and the bottom is champagne coloured. So what, what they do is, well first thing you do is, I found, I tried to pair them, I took one out the, the device and it just it wouldn't show up on the, the mobile phone I was trying to use and I found I had to charge the case a little bit more. I don't know why. Put them back in the case, charged it for a little while and they just sprung to life after that. So when you first bring them out of the case, the LED will flash blue, that's it in pairing mode and you can then find it on your mobile phone. It'll show up as Monster um, Air Mars XT, XKT16. You add them and they have um, a pretty decent amount of features. So they'll connect and if you press and hold the left earphone, it'll bring up your um, Alexa or other voice assistant of choice. If you hold the right bud, on the button, it will switch between its two modes, which are music mode and gaming mode. Now, all I really noticed was on gaming mode, definitely appears a little bit louder, there's a little bit more bass. These are not very bassy earphones. And I'm gonna give you some um, footage of that just now. Now, I haven't got brilliant recording equipment, I'm just using a lavalier mic to, to test it, but here's a little bit of audio where, via music mode, we'll play a little bit of Crab Rave.
okay, so hopefully you'll have picked up that there's a it's missing a bit at the bottom end and a little bit in the mid. It's quite it's quite high end sound in that you know you get the top end of the the, the tweeter end kind of the high pitch side of things, but it's, they're not that bad when they're in your ears. I have to say there is a little bit of mid range in there. The bass is pretty thin. Switching up to gaming mode, we'll let you hear some audio of that. Now again, you've probably noticed there's quite a lot at the, the high end. There's a tiny bit of bass in there, and then the middle end's kind of drowned out a bit by the high end again. So they're okay though. Now, if you've watched this far, I've shown you some footage of the audio quality on these earphones. I personally have, well, the most bassy in your earphones I have are a pair of Skull Candy uh, ones here, which I think are the Sesh model. These are pretty old, but they, uh, they still perform pretty well, and they've got pretty good bass. Not so much at the high end. The case is absolutely massive in comparison. Uh, the more buds rather than these kind of things that dangle out your ears a bit. And we'll give it a little boost on sound on them on the, the speaker. So this is uh, this is normal mode. And just for comparison, here it is with bass boost turned on. So I don't know if you can pick up on that. I've not changed any sound levels or anything when I was recording this. So you probably pick up that the Monster headphones were much louder. They are much thinner audio. There's not so much bass. The Sesh Skull Candy units are... They've got a bit of bass on them. They're um, quite a bit quieter though. So just for comparison. Now the Sesh Skull Candy earphones cost me about £35 when I bought them a few years ago. Which I felt that's kind of the, the upper limit to what I want to pay for something that might fall out my ear and go missing. Whereas the Monster ones were £6. And then there was VAT on top of that. So they came in at £7.20. Now I know you can get even cheaper than that. But for these, I think they're actually okay. Now what I will say about the case is, one, it looks really nice. But the, the lid, it's not magnetised to close. It's just a little push clip thing. Now I can see that wearing over time. And that kind of concerned me a bit. However, as you can see here, I can shake as violently as I like. And those earphones will not fall out. There's quite a strong magnetic attraction into them into their charging dock, so they, they won't fall out in a hurry. Um, there's also a little tiny connection on the side here where you could put a little lanyard if you want. I mean, you could put it on the case lid as well, but that would just encourage it to swing open all the time. But uh, all in all, for £7.20, I think these are pretty reasonable earphones. Especially for ones that, you know, such a small case, you can just chuck this in your bag. You're not going to be massively upset if you lose one, both, or the whole thing, really, uh, at £7.20. They, they're quite a good carry to go along with your mini laptop or your your um, handheld, which is why I was reviewing them on the channel today. So anyway, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. What under what I'm going to get from AliExpress next? Stick around and you'll see. Bye for now.